This is Eric Kastner, Technical Service Manager for FMC out of Weatherford, Texas. Today I'm coming to you from South Texas peanut country just outside of Dilly. Thought it'd be a great opportunity to talk about disease management in peanuts, in particular talk about Lucento fungicide from FMC. A little bit about this field, we're at 35 days after planting and I think it would be good just to make the point about the transition and the mindset that a grower has at this point in the season. From planting up to say 35 to 45 days after application, our clear objective is weed management. We want a weed management program in place to maintain this crop as close to weed free as we can throughout the season. Here we are at 35 days and our transition that's occurring is more of a mindset of disease management and the reason I wanted to talk about Lucento today. Lucento is a dual mode of action fungicide from FMC. It has an SGHI component in Bixofen, a group seven, and it also has a triazole component, Flutrifol, a group three. And you know, when you step back and look at it, that's not unique in itself, combining a group seven and a group three. So I'd like to step back and talk a little bit about what makes Lucento unique. One of the first things I think that we just need to understand is what makes a good fungicide. In addition to efficacy on the pest, the other critical factors that are important are the residual activity, the ability for that fungicide to stay in the plant and provide extended protection. And the other one is the ability for that fungicide to move within the plant. And so the systemic activity. So when you step back and look at flutrifol, the, the triazole component of Lucento, and compared to other triazole fungicides, it's clearly best in class when it comes to both of those two critical factors. It is the longest residual triazole in the plant, and it's also the most systemic. So it's clearly best in class. Similar story for Bixman. It is at the top of its class in, 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 in um, both residual activity and systemic activity. So it just makes sense when you combine those two best in class together to get Lucento fungicide, we would see the results that we saw in 2019 in peanuts and that we look forward to in 2020. And our excitement about getting back into these peanut fields and providing outstanding disease management and yield enhancement. Lucento is a single use rate product at five and a half ounces per acre and it controls a host of both foliar and soil borne diseases. Here in this part of the state and this across the peanut belt, leaf spots are the key disease, the key foliar disease that we fight in peanuts, both early and late leaf spot. Lucento has outstanding activity on leaf spot, the foliar diseases. Some of the soil borne diseases that, that are critical here, the, the most important would be southern blight, white mold, sclerotium rothsii is critical. We also have rhizoctonia limrite and uh, maybe some web blotch, all of which are on the Lucento label in addition to rust and some other diseases. You know, as we step back and how do we get to this point with the recommendation and the label that we have written in Lucento, a key part of that is our partnership with universities. And here in Texas, we partner with Texas A&M, in particular James Gripper, Gricker in Yoakum, Texas. And then up in Oklahoma, Dr. John Damacone with Oklahoma State University has done a lot of work to help us define how we use uh, Lucento in a peanut program and where to best position it in that program. Here in the Southwest, we tend to be more of a Bravo based program. So it's pretty common for us to kick off in a five spray program with a Bravo application and then rotate different classes of chemistry and typically wrap up with a Bravo application. There are occasions where we do extend and have six spray programs or beyond, but for the most part, we're in a five spray program. We'll lead off with 45 days after planting with a Bravo Corthalonil application, where we like to see Lucento at five and a half ounces is in that second 60 day application. Five and a half ounces, if we're fighting foliar diseases, we always recommend a high quality non-onic surfactant adjuvant to go in the tank. And then we will rotate in that third application at 75 days, roughly 75 days after application, whatever the grower is, is typically doing in that. You know, sometimes it, it's a strobulurin fungicide, it could be a different class, but we, we maintain that the same. And then we'll come back at 90 days with our second application of Lucento at five and a half ounces. You know, as we step back and look at performance in 2019 and what we look forward to in 2020, Clearly we have the performance that's been documented not only in university trials, but in grower uh, satisfaction last year. But I think the other component is just the value in use. 
when you look at the value that we bring and the performance that we bring coupled with the price of Lucento, it is clearly a leader in both um, performance and value and overall value and use to the, to the peanut grower. We look forward to you using Lucento in a peanut fungicide program and look forward to supporting you and answering any questions that you may have.